good afternoon to everyone welcome back for the afternoon session now dr konwar singh sir is with us dr konwar singh is working as an assistant professor at nit tiruchi since 2006 he obtained his phd from iit madras his research area his area of research is in cryptology blockchain technology he has published many papers in institute journals and conferences in the area of cryptology now i request dr konwar singh sir to hand over to take over the session okay thank you for the nice introduction and thank you for the invitation also so uh, how to how to link this ppt sir click on uh, present now sir the below oh, okay, uh, present now yeah. and then your screen huh? you can select your window or uh, window the huh? yeah, window then it will give you the list of windows oh, okay. select that oh. automatically okay okay. okay yeah okay Yes, sir. It is sharing. Okay. It is sharing. so so uh, i i'll be talking about blockchain technology so first uh, today i'll give uh, the talk on uh, blockchain technology and uh, cryptocurrency bitcoin bitcoin is first application of cryptocurrency uh, first application of blockchain technology okay and in the second lecture on friday same time i will talk, we'll talk about uh, ethereum blockchain smart contract okay so this these two things i have. today i will see about cryptocurrency bitcoin okay so let's see okay let, let's see the what are the properties of bitcoin how it is different from the uh, normal currency like indian rupee or uh, dollar all these things okay first thing is in the bitcoin there is no trusted party as you see in the normal rupee system or dollar or pound whatever it is there is a trusted party the government of that country there is in this case there is no rbi there is no government nothing is there so you can easily interact with any person and transfer the bitcoin and second thing is decentralized ledger on the internet so you see in the central system like rupee or dollar the laser is with the bank or government of india okay here the laser is with every node every user okay so it's completely decentralized so every user knows the transactions from first to till now so this is completely all the he knows all the transactions okay is peer to peer network I distribute and record the transactions the transaction fee is very low here so you might have experienced uh, i suppose you want to pay uh, let's say 40000 to some conference for some cause some conference so you might have seen that the charges will be around 3 to 4k okay so out of 40000 3 to 4k 2 to 4 something like that charges will be there here the charges transaction fee will be very less almost negligible okay. next one is not reversible so if you transfer some money to some person by mistake you transfer the money so the in the, in the online system of sbi you can request sbi that, that by mistake i have transferred this much money to this person please revert it so it may be considered okay so it may be revert it may be revert but here in this bitcoin if if you have transfer some money to some some address it cannot be reversed okay so it is not not reversible and second last all transaction are known to everyone as i have told you so
so that every 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 node has the laser so here the transactions are known to everyone okay and the sender are yeah actual sender and receivers cannot be identified yes so here the bitcoin the sender will be some address some number some let's say some 50 some number will be there for the digit number so every person will have some unique number so the that address is transparent to another address so it's completely so that it may be some time come anonymity will be there okay so that will discuss it then yeah, checking the your system okay, <coughs> okay. it's okay so should i continue okay okay yeah so there is one more thing is there and uh, the, the, some cryptography so deeply i discuss about the cryptography and uh, um, there are some primitives cryptographic primitives which are used in this blockchain technology first one is cryptographic hash function okay so what is the cryptographic hash function so we might have familiar with the, the cryptographic hash function so you have large messages okay you have arbitrary length messages you want to compress this to the 512 bits so the hash output is generally you see for one well known hash function sha 512 bits sir you check your system settings make sure your camera is available if not okay okay the intlo unnadu kada camera focus is it okay yes sir your presentation is fine sir he might have problem with his system sir okay 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 now uh, this is arbitrary length message and hash will compress this to the 512 bits okay so you see the input is very large output is only 512 bits okay so definitely it, it this this is a function hash count is also a function definitely it will it will be a many to one it cannot be one to one a one to one function the input size and output size will be same okay so definitely it will be a, many to one so there will be more than one messages which will have the same output obviously in many to one there will be more than one messages which will have the same output okay that will be there now what are the properties for cryptographic hash function so first property is called pre image resistance this is some kind of one way function so if you get output you cannot find input you cannot is one way only you can compute one way Okay, you can find the hash, but once hash is given to you, you cannot find the message. So given h, hard to find m, such that h equal to hash only. So some kind of one way. Okay. Second is important. This this will be used in uh, in the security of the blockchain technology. This part. So given m one. Okay. So if I give you m one, this m one, it's hard to find another message m two, such that Hash of M1 and M2 are same. Although it is possible, there will be two messages which will have the same hash. But the hash is designed in such a way that this is it should be hard to find. Clear? Yeah, this is the one. So you can say, think this way. I have one block. You can M1 equal to one block. Okay. So I cannot find another block. Okay, another different block. M2 is another block, which has same hash as, which has same hash as, hash of block one. So that you can think of this. Okay, is although it is possible, but for the attacker or for the adversary, it will be hard. So hard basically means is that if if he wants to try, it will take many years for him to find out another block which has the same hash as the previous one. Okay, third property is collision resistance. It's hard to find two messages. Which has the same has is similar to this one. Second and third are, are almost similar. Second only is one message is given to you. You have to find another message which has same has has the has has message of M one the message M one. But here you have to find any two messages. Okay, okay, is clear so? Okay, so now briefly I will just talk about uh, cryptography and then we will see. Uh, blockchain technology. Okay, so if you see 
public key cryptography. So, if public key cryptography is used here. Now, before 1974, there was no public key cryptography. There was only uh, public key cryptography asymmetric, both are same name. And you have before 1974, six, uh, uh, before RSA, there was only symmetric cryptography. The symmetric cryptography basically means the both the parties they have to share a common key before making a secure communication. Before making, before doing encryption and decryption, they have to share a common key like AES and DES. You might have heard about. So AES and ES, whatever Alice and Bob are there. They want to encrypt the message. They need a common key. They shared key. Okay. So that was the that was the requirement. That was the prerequisite. So you symmetric. The prerequisite indicated was to share a common key. Okay. So this is the common key. Now the problem is that how to share a common key. Okay. You cannot share from mobile because somebody may be listening to you through internet. So these are in the secure channel. There is no secure channel through which you can share a common key. Only thing is you have to meet personally. You have to meet, and then you can tell him that this will be our share. Okay, but if you want to make a communication, secure communication with your friend who is in USA, you can't meet him personally. Okay, so in that case, that was the problem. So the symmetric system. The problem was to share a secret key. So there was requirement for some other crypto system, some other secure communication in which the shared key is not required. Okay. So in, in 1976, Diffie and Hellman, two cryptographers, they gave the idea of public key cryptography, asymmetric cryptography, in which the two parties, they don't need to share a common key. Okay. Without sharing a common key, they can make a communication. Okay, so what is the idea there? What is their idea? The, their idea was every party will, will have two keys. Okay, one key is public key that he has to make it public. Like, and another key, you, key will be private. So private key I have to keep with, uh, I should not make it public. That will be secret to me. Public I have to make it public. Like I can say that my Kudua at the rate of edu is my public key. And this public key, I'll keep it in my uh, some some secure place like an entity website. An entity website, I'll, I'll keep. Kunwar, my public key is this one. Okay, some, so something you have to make it public. So, and so that everybody knows that this is your public key. Okay. Now, as you know, the encryption is some kind of locking and decryption is some kind of opening. Okay. So you can, you have two keys. You can encrypt with both the keys. You can encrypt with private key as well as public key. But the decryption key has to be different from the encryption key. The de decryption and encryption key will be on the same person. Okay. It will be the same person, but the encryption key will be different from the decryption key. If you have locked with the private key, it can be opened with the public key. If you lock with the private public key, it can be decrypted with the private key. So that has to be there. Okay, so now I uh, now I want to send a uh, now I want to now you want to send me a combination message to me. Okay, so combination message basically means the message which only I can decrypt, which only I can open the open. If you encrypt, then only I should be able to decrypt. Then only it will be confidence. Okay, if some other can open it or decrypt it, then it will not be confidence. Okay, so now you will choose a message M. And you will decrypt, you will encrypt with that key such that only I should be able to decrypt it. Okay. So the now by which key you will encrypt the message? You will encrypt the message by by my public key. So you will take a message and you will have my public key that will be in an attitude website. And using that public key, you can encrypt the message and send it to me. Now this can be opened or this can be decrypted by only corresponding private key that private key is known to me only okay so that only i can open it so this is the combination message you know this is the combination message so this way you can send the combination message to me okay so this is the public key encryption scheme if you want a signature private key 
then it can be open or it can be it can be verified using public key. That we will see later. Okay. Now, so the public key, but public key cryptography is good. This idea you don't need to share a common key, but they are not efficient. So maybe I can. Okay. So this is what we have discussed. This is what we have discussed. Okay. So we have Alice wants to. In, this this is the Bob. He wants to encrypt. Uh, uh, you want to send it to Alice. What do you do? He has Alice public key. Encrypt the message and send it to you. Uh, send it to the Alice. The Alice corresponding key is known to uh, Alice only. So only he can decrypt it. This is the way. Okay. So public key cryptography has three algorithms. Okay. So you have first part is key generation. Second part part is encryption. Third part is decryption. Okay. So this is the one. So in, in key generation output will be public key and private key. Every user will generate public key and private key encryption. So every user, uh, this encryption for this one will be public key of the receiver and message will be the input. Output will be the ciphertext. Randomized basically means for the same message, the different ciphertext will be there. Okay. Different time it will choose encryption will choose different random number and then different ciphertext will be there for same message. That is called randomized encryption. Okay. And decryption will be written risk. It cannot be randomized. If it is randomized, then it will be ambiguity will be there. So decryption will, will be many to one. So you have many different ciphertexts, but but the message will be one. So it's some, so decryption will be some kind of many to one function. Okay. Encryption will be some kind of one to many. No, because of this, because of randomness. Okay. So encryption is you can think of one to many for same message, different ciphertexts. Decryption will be many to one. Many different ciphertexts, the message will be same. Okay. Okay. So this is the case. So now the correctness criteria. Obviously, if you design a public key cryptography, it has to be correct. Like correctness means decryption of encrypted message has to be message. That will be there. Okay. Okay. So the RSA and algorithm you might have seen, these are the two well known, uh, well known. Uh, cryptography, uh, well-known public key crypto systems, and they are very not efficient. So you can see this, this. This is the one. This is the RSA. This is the RSA and the uh, Algamon. Uh, uh, almost both are same. Okay, security level. Uh, that, uh, that efficiency wise, both are same. So you can see here ECC, elliptic curve crypto system. ECC is called elliptic curve crypto system. So the blockchain or Bitcoin, they use ECC, elliptical crypto system. Okay, the keys will be from ECC. Now, if you see ECC and uh, the RSA with 1024 bits and ECC with 163 bits, their security level is same. But the size is 163 bits here, and the RSA the size is 1024 bits. Okay, so obviously. These are giving the same security level, and here the numbers are less. ECC the numbers are less. So when the numbers are less, the encryption cost and decryption cost will be less. Okay, so these are that's why I call it this, uh, ECC is part of lightweight, lightweight public key cryptography. So it takes less time. It's, it's, so the less computation cost or less time. So less less. Uh, electricity requirement, all these things. So it's a, it's a light one. Okay. Now, if you see ECC 163 is equivalent to 1024. This is see how much difference is there. And ECC 256 is equivalent to 3072. Okay. So this gives the same security level as this one. Right now, this is going on. Maybe tomorrow, maybe 2048 in uh, RSA 2048 may, may come. Okay. So now, if you see, compare now these three with symmetric one. Symmetric is much more efficient. See AES. So AES 128 bit gives the same security of RSA 303072 and ECC of 256. So see ECC AEC is much more efficient than the ECC. Clear here? See the see the vision? Okay. So the symmetric system are much more efficient than the asymmetric system. Or public key cryptography. Okay, so that now generally the the aim of public key cryptography is to share a 
let us say you want to you and me we want to have a secure communication we want to send uh, some files so what you will do is we don't we, we, we are not sharing a common key so we can't use aes but we are part of the ecc or we are part of the public key cryptography so what you will do is we will use public key cryptography to share a common key so first what you will do is we will use public key cryptography to share a common key once you share a common key then with that common key will 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 use for the symmetric cryptography that you will use aes so public key cryptography generally the aim the generally the, the objective is main i'm not saying one of the main aim is to share a common key to share a common key okay so how you can share one of the way there are so many ways one of the simple way is you and you and me we want to share a common key and you trust me okay so what i do is i'll i'll take a 128 bit key that i'll take and i'll encrypt this 128 bit using your public key and send it to you and then who can open it only you can open it so you can decrypt it and you will get 128 bit this 128 bit will be our shared key and after that we can use aes this is the way generally this is the way it happens okay so this is the one so now you can see ecc and ecc is used by the is used by blockchain technology you see bitcoin they use ecc signature scheme they use ecc private key public key all these things okay so more will not go this much is enough no one more is signature so after that this much is enough then we'll come to the directly blockchain technology okay so this much i i hope now you got something about public key cryptography this much knowledge of public key cryptography enough to understand the blockchain or bitcoin okay see so, okay now second thing is important one is signature okay so now this signature now first i will talk about normal signature this is the normal signature okay so the, our director has uh, signed on the uh, one student's report card okay so this is the report card message and he has director has unique handwriting skill he is using unique handwriting skill which only he can do it others they cannot make this kind of handwriting skill okay if others can do it then it will be forged okay so uh, adam sir is that only he can do it with that handwriting skill he makes the signature and then on the message signature he will that student will show his report card to anyone okay so now if you see the this uh, signature on the student x report card similarly student y report card the signature will be same okay so in the normal time normal signature the signature is independent of the message whether the student x report card a y report card the normal signature will be same so it is independent of the message result does not depend on the message okay that is wrong so now what will happen whoever knows the director is his his uh, unique uh, signature and everyone everyone as whoever knows the director's previous signature they can easily verify it yeah this yeah, indeed this is signed by the director and they will accept they will say yes this x report card is is cjp is and fine so they will accept it. okay this is the way normal uh, normal things have uh, works normal signature works okay so now let's see the digital signature okay it is same as normal signature normal signature you need message you need something which only alice knows in this case it was unique handwriting skill so now you need something which only alice knows so that will be what alice private key so you can make signature using the input will be m and then you can this can some kind of encryption always is also some kind of encryption so alice private key will be the input and you use this private key to make a signature on m okay and everyone else whoever knows public key whoever knows their handle unique handwriting of the director or you can say public key they can easily verify it. so the verification algorithm will be everyone else whoever knows the alice public key they can know that this signature is 
made by the is uh, done by the Alice. So everyone can verify this. So what was the Alice problem? Yeah. So this is the thing. This is the thing. Now the difference. So both are same. Both are same. Only difference is the if you see digital signature, it depends on the message. But in the previous one, previous one, previous one, the digital signature and so normal signature does not depend on the message. Why? This is why a digital signature should depend on the message. That is the required. Why? So suppose what will be digital signature? Any anyway, digital signature will not be unique handwriting scheme. It, it, it is not a unique drawing something like some kind of thing. It will be. It will be in terms of zero, one, zero, one. Something will be there. Now, if I made some distress signature on some message M, which is zero, one, zero, one, and the attacker knows that this is my distress signature on this message. Okay. So what he can do is he can copy this message signature, which is zero, one, zero, one. Okay. If the signature distress signature is independent of the message, if a distress signature is same for all the messages. What you will do? You will create another message and paste the signature there. Okay, so there will be forgery. Okay, so that's why distance of signature has to depend on the message. Okay, we can't uh, see that uh, you can't have some distance signature which does not depend on the message. So there will be some kind of forgery because their distance signature will be some kind of zero one zero one something. Clear? Yeah? Okay. So this much is the cryptography. Okay, any doubt till this point, cryptography part? So if you have uh, queries till this point, I can I will be happy to take it. Okay, so if there is no query, so we uh, so we'll move on. So now we'll come to blockchain. What is blockchain? So blockchain as you remember. Blockchain is chain of blocks. Okay, chain of blocks. So first block will be Genesis block, which will be kept secret. That will be secret only. That will be the, with the organizer. Okay, and then you have first block, then block two, then block three. Okay, so the block one will have many transactions. Sometimes some so size of the block is generally one megabyte. I don't know how now how much, but let's say block size is one megabyte. So there will be some transactions. Let's say it depends on the size of the transactions, and then there will be let's say five transactions are here, and then you you will have this place which which is, which is called hash pointer. So hash pointer is basically hash and address of the previous block. So this hash. So this part will be hash of previous block and address of this one where it is where it is kept. Okay, so that part will be this is called hash pointer, and then this will be this also will block two will have. Has pointer has an address of the previous block, and the, there will be transactions. Has an address of previous block, and there will be transactions. So like this one. So this is called chain of blocks. Chain of blocks. Okay. So now you cannot tamper it if you if you so now. Okay. So now if you want to do some this, since that uh, this uh, laser is this blockchain is. With everyone, every node has these blockchains. Okay, so what they can do is they can tamper it. They can they can try to change this transaction, one transaction. Okay, so maybe the transaction already is that, um, that uh, maybe I am the adversary. So what I'll do is I'll replace one transaction with another transaction, like that. The person uh, the, the the person X has transferred money to my account. I'll give my account to. So that will be the uh, that that, could, that can be the time. Okay. So if I change here something here, what will happen? This this block will change, and its hash will change. Okay. So this hash will change. Then this also will change. I I have to change here also. The hash has changed. Okay. Now this block has changed, so its hash also will change. Okay. So what will happen? This I have to change here also. Okay, so what it basically means is, if somebody adversary wants to tamper with any block, 
he has to change accordingly he has to change in all the after that block you have to change all the other blocks okay so that is not possible that's not practical so that's why it is called tamper resistant one cannot tamper it clear one cannot tamper it so the, that is a problem okay okay no okay so now uh, so i asked one question now can i do this one so what i'll do is i'll do this one so i'll create a block i'll make a four transactions okay the first transaction is the x has transferred 1000 dollar to me kunwa okay i'll put my address there i'll put my number there y also has transferred 1000 dollar and uh, z also i transferred 1000 dollar and i'll create a block which i'll create a block which has same has as this block okay so if you see if you can see some if uh, i'll create another block okay so which has same has as this block and what i'll do is then since the has as same as this one so what i'll do is i'll so i can do it this this thing so i'll create a block where the transactions are of my choice okay and then like this one so then what i'll do is i'll is has will be here that i'll keep it here and the transactions i'll make it such way that this part this block you can say block two dash is has is same as has of this block okay so if i create a block which has same has as this one and and what i'll do i'll replace this block this block i'll replace with the this block okay now no one can recognize it because is has is same whatever has is there that is has is kept here it also same has so this i easily i can replace if i can create this block which has same as this one then i will replace this block with this one okay so what 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 by you like i i get it so all the people four transactions i will be getting 4000 dollars okay so this is the big forgery why this is not possible anyone can answer why this is not possible question is clear i will create a block in which four transactions are there and the block has same has as this block and then what i'll do is i'll replace this block with this block this is my my block okay so no one can recognize it and that will be the you see this will also is the same as so nothing will change so why this is not possible anyone can guess why this is not possible okay this is not possible why as i told you in the hash functions as i told you hash functions this one if you see this part given a block you cannot create another block which has same hash as this one okay so that is, so hash functions is designed such a way that one cannot find another block which has same as this one that is a hard problem you cannot create you cannot create another block which has same as this one so because of this property okay so one cannot create another block which has this one so that's why this is tamper resistant you cannot create another block okay so this is the block chain the chain of blocks okay so now we will see this is the case okay so now let, let, let's say currency now let's start with some basic currency then we will come to the bitcoin okay so what is the currency basically currency is nothing here you see you see the normal currency uh, what i'll do is you might have seen in the canteen college canteen the canteen owner what he do is he will take a suppose he doesn't have change so what he do is he will take a paper and you write it there uh, a to piece and you sign it there okay so it, the student will have this uh, this paper and tomorrow suppose you want to take something you will show this instead of a to piece you will show this this 
uh, this paper. So this becomes currency. Okay. So a student may may give this this paper to another student. Another student may give to another student. The third student may give it to the canteen owner. Okay. So this so this becomes the currency. So currency basically nothing is required. A hard currency. You need one paper and some signature. Okay. And uh, this can be some kind of currency. Or we have rupees. Rupees you have a certain format, and then we have some some format is there which which no one can create, it. and then you have hard currency. Then you give it to someone and like okay. So similarly, you can also create some crypto currency, digital currency. So what you can do is you got some you create some coin, okay, digital coin. Let's say you could, somehow you created this is coin, okay. We we'll write some digitally we we'll write one bitcoin. Okay, and that that is uh, Goofy got it. Goofy has that one uh, one Bitcoin. So what he do is now he he wants to give this this one Bitcoin to the Alice. So what he can do is he will make a signature there and pay to Alice. So this coin is there is is, is the one Bitcoin and this one Bitcoin he has given it to the Alice and Alice has given it to the Bob. Later on, Alice has given it to the Bob. So this is this is digital coin. Okay, you sign it and give it to someone else. That what digital 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 digital, digital uh, uh, currency. Okay, so so you can create somehow you got some Bitcoin. Okay, the Bitcoin will be there, and he, he Goofy got it. Goofy will make a signature and give it to Alice, and Alice will give it to the Bob. And Bob will now the coin is able to go. This is the cryptocurrency. So cryptocurrency also same. This Simon slide this one got the coin, sign it, give it to someone. Another person got it, sign it. He wants to give it to someone. He wants to spend some, that that money, sign it, give it to that owner. Okay, like this one. So cryptocurrency also can be like this. One. The problem with this one, it is similar to this one only. Now in this system. The problem is this one. What Alice will do? This is distress. This is not hard currency. Hard currency. This is not hard currency. This is distress method. So uh, everything is in, in numbers. One Bitcoin. Then you have signed zero one something one. So what? Is, what is, Alice can Alice can do the cheating. Alice has given the same one Bitcoin to Bob. He got one Bitcoin. He has given to Bob, and same one Bitcoin, which is digital only. He will make signature and give it to Chuck also. Same thing. Okay, both cannot know it because this is not hard currency. Hard currency you cannot you cannot you have to fall forge that currency only if you want to make forgery. Okay, but here the digital part is just you have to make a signature. Okay, just you have to you, you use your private key and signature and give it to Chuck. Similarly, you have given to Bob. So what you have done is you have spent same money. You got the money one Bitcoin and you have made the double spend. That is called. Double spending. This is the problem. Okay, if you remove this double spending, then this will be the current currency. This will be the cryptocurrency. What is wrong in this case? Is everything is correct? Okay. So now we have to remove this double double spending. Okay. So the one of the double spending is you make you keep all these transaction in a central place. Okay, so if you put this transaction and say, so you have got this one, this this is the signed by this one is in the center place. This also center place. This is also center place. Now, if somebody wants to, if Alice wants to give it to Chuck, okay, so this will also will be placed in center place. When you put put the center place, already people will say that yeah, this money is already given to Bob because it is because it is, it is the center place. Easily it can be searched. Search whether it's spent or not, and then people will know that they already spent, so they they will ignore it. They will cancel this. They will remove it. Okay, so that's what. Now we need a central place where all the transactions transactions will be kept. That is what blockchain. So all these transactions will be kept in the blockchain. Blockchain is the most central place. Okay. Okay. So this is the centralized Gopi coin. You transactions will be here. We are here. We are. So if somebody wants to spend the transactions, spend the money twice, what will happen? It can be caught because people will search again. Easily it can be searched. Whether these transactions 
is already already in this blockchain or not okay so that can easily can be solved so this is centralized gopi coin so first we created gopi coin then you can say we created centralized gopi coin we got the gopi centralized things okay so this is the cryptocurrency okay now the transactions there will be some input money from where you got the five bitcoin and then output whom you are giving the money then this lot time you will be there and then you will have discuss in this session okay this is the centralized gopi coin this centralized one okay so at this laser base here okay? so now the only problem is and then you see in each in each block will have this is the uh, transaction should be there and then you have previous has and then you are you will have root has and time stamp timing and nonce one unique number will be there and this, what is the root has so why the root has is there you might have heard about merkle tree there is term as merkle tree okay so you let's say you have in that block you have uh, four transactions so you have four one two three four so what is the root there these transactions has will compute this also will be compute these two hashes has will be compute that will be here this this transactions has will be here this transactions has will be here and these two transactions has will be here and these two transactions has will be here so this is the root has so root has will be in the block and these transactions will be here yeah, so this will be there the root has in block then why you why we need this merkle tree okay so this is required to prove to convince the person that i have one transactions which is in this block okay so let us say it has four transactions okay now i have to con convince the person that yeah my transaction is, is is in in this block okay so what i if i tell you so what i have to do is you will search one by one one by one so it will take big of n time you do linear searching one time big of n So it will take one by one to search. Okay. Now, if I create this Merkle tree, I created this Merkle tree for four transactions, similar for hundred transactions. Now, if I want to convince the person that my transactions is here, my transactions is the TX two. So what I have to do is I have to note down this has and this has these two, and I have to tell my transaction. So I have to tell this is my transaction. and this i will tell you these are the hashes in different height okay so what will tell what you will do he knows my transaction he will compute the he will compute uh, hash of my transaction he got this one now he i have, I have already given to him this one okay i have already given to this one so what you do you will have com uh, compute the hash of these two you will get hash one okay now i have given to this one hash zero you will compute hash of hash 0 hash 1 and you will compute root hash so you will compute root hash if the root hash is same as same as the root hash kept in this block okay so what you will say that you will say that yeah your transaction is easy so you will be convinced okay so he is convinced with how much time two two step he did two calculations one has here one has here one has three, three calculations so basically height so instead of n he did only three so if you have n is so what is the height of the tree log n you might have seen this complete tree the height of the, uh, the tree is log n so in the log n calculation log n steps he, he will be convinced that yeah your transaction is in this in this block or in this blockchain okay otherwise what you have to do you have to try and check one by one which is very tough which will take big of n time so you see the uh, from big of n to big of log n so lot of improvement is there so that is because of this merkle tree so all transactions are kept using this merkle tree this merkle tree will be there not in but the root has is kept for on this one. okay <clears throat> now now we got the cryptocurrency which is centralized one okay so if all the transactions which are in the block are kept in a uh, in a central system okay 
then that will be a cryptocurrency and no one can do the double spending that is true okay now the, now the problem is one has to add you 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 have to add new block into the blockchain you cannot have few blocks on so okay the point is add the new blocks into the blockchain so now things are in the problem the problem is who will add yeah any doubt okay uh, no Okay. Okay. So, so you have this one. So now, thing is that we will add block into the blockchain. New block into the blockchain. Because you cannot say that uh, anyone can add block into the blockchain. The problem will be that people will create the some bogus blocks and they will add into the blockchain. And although you can ignore it, who can ignore it because they can cancel those because it will be verified. But unless it will, it will take a lot, lot of time. Okay, I keep some some doesn't something will remove it. So that unless it will take a lot of time. Okay, so the what they have given the Nakamoto, the Bitcoin. Founder who has given the idea of Bitcoin, Nakamoto, he has said that he has given the idea of hash puzzle. Okay, so what is the hash puzzle now? In the block, you know, the nonce, I told you, nonce is there, rest are hash, rest are transactions, and hashes are there, hash of one, hash of two, something like that, previous hash, and some, some other hashes are there. Okay, so this is nonce. Okay, so create a block of transactions. And keep it the hash. These are fixed. Your transactions are already fixed. It is there. Those things you cannot tamper it. But you can change the nonce. Okay. So you choose a nonce, find the nonce such that hash of this one is very less. So hash of this one is in this target place. It is in this side. This was okay, which is this. And you see the hash output is always uniform. So if somebody can find a nonce. Whose hash is very small. It basically means he has solved the puzzle. So this is the puzzle to find the nonce such that hash of nonce and previous hash and transactions is very small. Okay. Since the hash is very secure one, only way to compute nonce such that is hash of this one is small is try one by one nonce. To try one nonce. If you get the answer, you have solved the puzzle. If you didn't get the answer, you have to try another nonce, then another nonce, then another nonce. Okay, so this, this, is, the, this is the way you have to. Now, with this computer system is is improving day by day, this target also shrinking day by day. Okay, the target is this much. Now tomorrow, the now the target is this much because the computer power is increasing. So and more the computer power. More the one can make the trial. One can make the trial. One can make the new nonce, and you can find the hash of it. Yeah. So this is the way. So this is the hash puzzle. Okay. So now this is the puzzle. The person who can find the nonce and such that hash of this one is very small. Okay. Here. Yeah. So this is the puzzle. So now this puzzle is used here. So now the main thing is add the block. Into the blockchain, who can add? Okay, so the the person, the node who can solve the hash puzzle will have the right to add the block into the blockchain. Okay, so only that person will have the right to add add block into the blockchain. So what happens now? I tell you now what happens. Okay, so I, I have sent my transaction. All the transactions will be in the transaction pool. So you have sent your transactions. People have sent their transactions. Okay. So there will be a transaction pool where all the transactions are kept. Okay. So now, what is the node who wants to solve this puzzle? Who want to add block into block set? What you will do is you will take some transactions from the transaction pool. You will take 
transactions so all people they will broadcast their transactions and the transactions will be in the transaction pool okay so then what i do is one person a special node which is called miner which is, who is tracking the all the transactions okay so he will take some four transactions four or whatever the number of transactions uh, required in the in, in one, one block he will take some transactions and keep into the block make a block and the and you will have transactions and you will have previous hash and address of the previous block so that you will write it okay and then only thing is now time stamp already you will include then only thing is non csd then you will put to a two the nonce okay such that this hash of this is this block is less than the target one if you can do it that one then you can add this block into the blockchain okay so which so solving the puzzle is he has to find this block he has to find the nonce such that hash of this one will be less than the target one okay less than the target one this hash one so basically he solves the puzzle and once he solves the puzzle you will have right to add this block into the blockchain and then to make it, to, to make uh, uh, to to motivate the honest people to do this job this node will be rewarded 1.5 bitcoin one bitcoin is this much dollars it's a big money it's a big money okay, he will be rewarded with this much money okay initially it was 50 bitcoin 2008 it was 50 bitcoin 2012 it became it becomes uh, 25 Now 2016 it became 12.5. 2020 maybe it will become half of this one. So every four year the reward money will be reduced. More it become popular, more reward money. Okay, so this is the right now. Now 16 to 20 the reward money is 12.5. Okay, so you will be rewarded with the 12.5. So people will, will honestly they will try to solve the puzzle. Okay, so now many companies are. Uh, they are they have dedicated themselves to solve this puzzle okay many companies like in usa sorry in china cold area of china cold area of northern europe so their companies are there which are solve they are trying to solve this hash puzzle they 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 will collect the, some transactions they will choose nonce and they will uh, find out the hash now uh, find out the nonce such that this hash is less than the target if they succeed it basically they they can add this block into block set And they will be rewarded this much Bitcoin. Okay, so once he has added this one, other nodes will accept the block only if all the transactions in that in it are valuable. Okay, so all the transactions has to be valid. There should not be any double spending. There should not be any forgery signature. Signature has to be valid. Everything is so then only the the, the money is unspent, but not double spent. Should not be double spent. The signatures are should be valid. Then only. They will accept it. Okay, otherwise they will not accept. It. And then finally, the nodes expect their acceptance of the block by working on creating the next block. So then after that, once this is added, accepted, then people will try for another. So this is the way blockchain works. This is the complete blockchain. Is clear? So this much. Any doubt is there? Anyone? Is clear? Okay. Okay. So this. No doubt, then I move on. Okay, so now, now, now we'll see anonymity. Okay, so now Bitcoin wallet. So here, there is no hard currency. So there is there is no all our digital currency. Okay, there is no wallet. Here, yeah. so where the money is there? So money is just uh, it is in digital only. Okay, so I will tell you how 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 it is. So now I have told you ECC is used public key cryptography. ECC is used. So you have private key, then you have public key, then you have one address is the Bitcoin address. Okay, which is hash of this public key. Okay, so maybe people will know about your public key, but if they know Bitcoin address, they cannot they cannot know about your. public key because hash is one way if you know this one you can't know public key okay a one way function so hash of public key is bitcoin address okay so now the transactions are like this one 
you have bitcoin address some number arbitrary number this bitcoin address is transferring to another bitcoin nothing is there no name no public key nothing your name is not there your only your address is there your address is there and your this address is transferring five bitcoin to another address from this address you cannot know my public key although this public key also number this is the address. clear so that's why people say that some kind of anonymity is there now not with this one one more one more is there so now what what happens if i am using only one bitcoin address with this bitcoin address i am making money to another people then i am making to another group maybe digitally digitally i am giving money to another address okay by chance suppose somehow my this bitcoin address is good people got that this, this is my bitcoin address okay so then i will reveal okay so the people say that yeah kunwar Kun Kun singh is uh, transferring uh, money to another this address so i think uh, then in that case some kind of it it, it will be my uh, name will be revealed okay so i am transferring the money to this person or this person okay so what they have done is to 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 make it more anonymous what uh, bitcoin they have done is one can create many bitcoin addresses not only one you can create one one private key public key address another private key another public key private key then corresponding public key then address and another private key public key address so you can create hundred of addresses that is allowed here and some sometimes you can use this address sometimes you can use another address for receiving money from another one you can use another address so that you can do it okay so even your one address is revealed still you can use you will be anonymous so this is the way this is the why the bitcoin wallet bitcoin is is considered to be anonymous that's why it is also used in some dark areas okay clear this is the way because of this one only there's some anonymity is there some level of anonymity is there in the bitcoin okay so first thing is people are using bitcoin addresses second thing is you can create as many addresses as possible okay so now many maybe this question okay so this is this okay. so many may be thinking about this, this part clear yeah. so of uh, uh, yeah is this one so forking so the forking happens when two or more miners find a block at nearly the same time this is possibility because everybody is trying to solve the puzzle and whoever, whoever will able to solve the puzzle he will have right to add that block into the blockchain okay and he will be rewarded the money so people will be trying uh, people will be trying to solve that puzzle so what will happen let's say in this network so many people are there so many people are there now these are these are the uh, nodes okay so so let's say uh, till now three blocks are financed this many n minus 2 n minus 1 n blocks are financed okay now after n block what happened that these two people these two nodes they solve the puzzle in the same time okay so this a and b they have solved the puzzle in the same time okay so what will happen so once you solve the puzzle you have to broadcast your solution your block and solution to every node and people will add that block into their blockchain they will check that whether transactions are correct or not and they will see that signature if, if they if they find everything is okay then they will add the block that block into their blockchain so after this much they have already and then they may add after this one. okay this is the process okay so now thing is now both the persons they have solved the puzzle at the same time so what they will do they know the rule rule is you have to broadcast their solution on the network so both miners will broadcast their solution on the network this will then broadcast the solution 
it's also a solution so now what will happen that another rule is the nodes will accept the first solution they hear and reject others okay so those who uh, which are near to b they will have they will they will have uh, this b uh, this block first okay they will get this block first and they, and the a is block they will get later will get later on okay so what they whatever the first they have to get that they have to accept and second one they have to reject it. so all these block which are near to this one they will have b they will have b maybe this all these nodes they will have b okay they will add after this they will add this block okay and all those who are which are near to a they will have this block clear yeah. now so they, they will have two blocks this fourth thing will become now which one which, which but it has to be one way on so block chain is one way on this it cannot be four so what will happen next time and now the rule is that you see that who is that so nodes always switch to the longest chain they hear whichever chain is the longest one that they have to switch okay that is our another rule in all the nodes has to follow this okay now next time let's say next time this block k okay somebody solves from a side and in this time only one block one person has solved uh, he has solved the puzzle so then what will happen the person which is near to a okay so let, let's say this person solves the puzzle now what will happen so everyone will get this block this block and anyway a already had they have this block so now also they will have this block so they will this they will connect this one now b block people they will not uh, they cannot add this they will see uh, this block is there but already previous time we have this block okay but now we have uh, another block okay so, but uh, this block is done by this one so whether we should go to this one but these people they have this block already whether we have to go to this one so what they are doing rule is they have to see the longest chain so now longest chain is formed in this way not this way okay because more majority are here so this has to be taken by everyone because this is the only block which is solved by uh, this is the block which is solved by only this person so this block has to be taken by this one so now whether the block should be here or this way so like longest chain is this side so this after that this chain will be valid so this becomes the block not this one and this block will be abandoned this will be removed this will not be part of blockchain because longest chain is this one and the transactions are on this one will be again will be placed in the transaction pool and these transactions which are here and other transactions again some someone can use these those transactions to make a block okay then again so that again it will become like this clear so this is this is the rule this is the forking time please okay okay and there so some five ten minutes i will just uh, on the next class i will talk about blockchain 2.0 so blockchain 1.0 okay so that was only for uh, that was only for uh, cryptocurrency so let on pull realize that this uh, this the blockchain which is used in the bitcoin has other applications also okay so then ethereum blockchain was uh, was invented and that is the part of 2.0 basically the not only cryptocurrency some other applications are also designed so the blockchain 2.0 is not not only for cryptocurrency for some other applications also okay so, that's good. so the one of the uh, uh, important blockchain is ethereum blockchain okay and they they are popular because of smart contract okay smart contract you see smart contract is and ethereum is a public and private blockchain what is a public basically means anyone can join anyone can be part of the blockchain anyone can be the node okay so there is no uh, there is no restriction like bitcoin they have public blockchain and private blockchain basically means you need some kind of authentication will be required 
Okay, so uh, that the restriction will be there for the node to join the blockchain. There will be some restriction. Okay, that is called private blockchain. Ethereum can be private or public. Okay, and there will be a built-in Turing complete language. Thus, for the smart contract, the smart contract they use solidity language. Okay, solidity is basically like uh, Turing complete language, like C plus plus Java. It is also like similar to them. Okay, so this is. Now Ethereum virtual machine, which can execute the script using an internal network of blockchain. So this will be there, which can execute the codes, all these things. And the cryptocurrency which is used in Ethereum is Ether. Ether they don't use Bitcoin. Okay, this Ethereum blockchain, they have their own crypto, they have their own cryptocurrency. Okay, that is the Ether. So they are using the Ether. So Ether also same as so everything. Ether almost same as. Bitcoin. Okay, so the consensus. If you see the consensus algorithm here, this 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 algorithm is called proof of of work. There are some other algorithm like proof of stake, and some other other things are there. So this proof of work, the Ether also Ether cryptocurrency also they use same consensus algorithm, and almost many things are similar to the. Block with Bitcoin only. Okay, so Ether is similar to the Bitcoin. Okay, so now, okay, so now just I briefly I do do the thing then then we we'll see the questions. Okay, the so the smart contract. Okay, so this idea was very old. Okay, we have contract, hard contract. We have even we have digital contract. But digital contract problem is that if you keep digital contract in uh, some place, it can be tampered. So where is the proof? Somebody tampers either digitally. You have some contract, and then and then digital signature is there. Somebody changes the name there because it is digital. One can change it. Okay, so that is the problem. So there is no safe place. Even you keep it to the into the and uh, DM's place office. Maybe some one can change there. Okay, so that was the problem. So the contract, the smart contract idea was given by Nick Zebo. In 1994, but it was it was not realized because there is no there was no uh, safe place to store these digital contracts, smart contracts. Okay, so once Bitcoin, once blockchain came, they got the safe place because blockchain you can't change the code, you can't change the contract. If you change the contract, because the transactions are there, the contract is basically in one of the transactions. The contract is in one of the transactions. And uh, once this comes, uh, nobody can change the, uh, and nobody can change the uh, any uh, any letter, anything, nothing is nothing can be changed. Okay, so they so then this was smart contract was invented, so because of blockchain. Only. Okay, so smart contract is a executable code that runs on the blockchain to facilitate to execute, and this enforced agreement between untrusted parties. Without the involvement of trusted parties, so there is no trusted party. Like the one uh, example they have given is the smart contract can be like this one. So you have some contract, digital contract. Okay, so you have bought the car. Okay, so you have paid some money, and uh, then uh, this you 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 are going to pay the e EMI. Okay, so now you have paid one EMI. You can pay. You have paid second EMI. Now third EMI. You didn't pay, so the code will be there inside the smart contract will be there. The code will be there. They will say third EM, EMI was not paid. Okay, next uh, fourth the, you you will get the warning. Maybe so code can be like this. Smart contract can be like this. The contact the contact can be like this. One. If you don't pay the third EMI, well, first EMI, you will be given warning. Okay, second EMI if you don't pay. The contract will give the output, and uh, in such a way that the, your car will be logged. So car is also smart, so car will be automatically logged, and then it cannot be opened. And third EMI, if you don't pay, the people will come and they will take the car. Something like that. Okay. So that so so uh, so this kind of uh, if someone can create this kind of smart contract, these are called smart contract. So basically, executable code code will be there. And if you don't pay, first one warning will be sent through mail, 
and second pay don't uh, don't give automatically your some signal will go which will automatically lock the card okay so that that can be a smart some kind of smart contract so what is a smart contract is is code inside the blockchain which which execute and enforce agreement between two parties the car owner and you so you have uh, agreed on this smart contract okay and there is no third party there is no there is no third party okay so you have agreed on this smart contract that if you don't pay the first emi warning next emi the car will automatically be locked and third emi you will come and take the car okay so everything will go smartly everything will go according to code so that code will be written inside the blockchain and it, so automatically after uh, one month it will execute okay so those things are so this is a smart contract so smart contract inside the inside the block okay and uh, it can input it can be money it can be data and like this clear yeah. so we'll next class we'll start from here okay until that time if you have if you have any questions doubt i would like to take it so we have only 15 minutes are there so within 15 minutes if you have the doubt questions i'll i'm happy to take it okay okay thank you hello uh, may i come in sir Hi. Uh, so, um, thank you for the session. Uh, so, uh, today's session was a little bit uh, technical, and uh, many of the jargons uh, uh, were a little bit difficult for us to understand. At least, I'm talking about myself. So, is it uh, will be okay if you can share some study material which can uh, uh, go through and have a little bit more knowledge? Uh, so that the next class when we come, we'll be more prepared and uh, with more better understanding. Yeah, so I'll share this uh, this PPT. Okay, so this PPT I can share. So, uh, so, so apart, so apart from PPT, sir, can you share some study material also? Some uh, no, that uh, I, some PDFs that you uh, you can see some. Uh, no, 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 what, what, what in this case? Uh, what is the technical things? Uh, just so that I can know what you have not. Uh, so next class I can. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, this subject is uh, like totally new for me since oh. I am having interest in this subject. That is why I am attending. But uh, many of the things are a little bit uh, technical. So maybe if I can get more uh, some study material, I'll be able to understand more uh, properly. So uh, in the one I have taken this things for one course that is there, Arvind Narayanan, he is Princeton University. So he has one course here on Bitcoin. Okay, so cryptocurrency Bitcoin. He has one course, okay. and he, he has one book also there. That is also mm -hmm. is free. Anyone can download it, and they have video notes, video classes also. Okay, so this even you don't. So could you share? So could you share the details? Could yeah. you share the details on the chat so that we can note it down? Yeah, and, and, and on maybe, the chat, if you can just write it down the details. Yeah, yeah. So where is the chat? Chat is. Uh, Chat, where is the chat? Yeah, you can note down there. Uh, Arvind Narayan. Chat is, I don't find chat. Arvind Narayan. Oh. Uh, Arvind Narayan, Princeton University. Okay, so he he he, uh, he, he is one of the pioneers in this cryptocurrency. And uh, if you are working blockchain technology, this even you don't know this these things. I don't think it's okay. No, this is just. Technically, may not be knowing, so you should know what is digital signature. Digital signature is basically sign authenticating, okay, like normal signature. That you should know. That is enough. Yeah. Okay, so 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 I, I this is this. If you are applying some somewhere else, these things may not be required. That's what I'm saying. Just uh, how it is decentralized. If you can get the idea, so that okay. Anyway, this uh, uh, they have they have full courses there. So you can see more detail, hash functions, and uh, public key cryptography. So then all these things can. Be done. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank uh, you, sir. Thank you. Uh, otherwise, I mail this uh, mail that uh, link to your organization. Okay. Sure, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Anyone else? Sir, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. 
Uh, sir, uh, while discussing this anonymity, user anonymity, yeah. you said uh, user can use different pairs of private key and public key. Yeah. yeah. Number of pay, number of pairs. So, uh, uh, if if he uses that so much num so many number of pairs, it become very hectic to maintain all these things so that he can he has to distribute the public keys also, no, sir. And he yeah. has to maintain at the same time he has to distribute the public keys. Uh, I mean, is there any disadvantage here because it has to maintain so many? Oh, yeah, I, I, I put it. I think I forgot to tell you. So he, uh, when he has uh, this, uh, I have signed. I have made the signature and given the money to some address B. Okay, address B I have given. Okay, so now if address B want to spend that money. He got four Bitcoin from me, so he has to sign it. He has to sign it, and uh, that sign will uh, someone will verify using his public key. He has to sign it, and he has to give that public key corresponding yes, to that address, and someone will verify it. So th th that is the process. Okay. So now what you are telling is yeah. that more public key, more uh, addresses, definitely it will create some kind yes. of uh, chaos for the person, but uh, if he wants to privacy, he has to pay all these things. He has to do all these things. Okay, this is the only okay. way to make the privacy. So some uh, okay. always always things to be like that. If you want privacy, and both want this one, so you have to do some extra work. Okay, so the, yes. uh, this, uh, things are there. Softwares are there. So you have many addresses. Some money are in this address. Some money in this address. So they will be maintaining the software. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Anyone? Anyone else? Chat box. If any participant want to discuss with sir, please unmute yourself and you can discuss. Okay, any queries? Participants, if you have any queries. Thank you, sir. Uh, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. On behalf, on behalf of uh, Shababindu, madam, I thank you very much for uh, sparing your time and giving such a very informative uh, session for the participants. I think participants are uh, much benefited out of your session, sir. Thank you very much, sir, for sparing oh, your time. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you.